Hi guys, it's Kelly here and I'm back with another video for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I'm using lots of products. I'm using the Big Buzzword Stamps and Dies, the Ombre Dots uh, Hot Foil Plate, the B Narrow Uppercase Alphas, the Sentiment Banners Dies, and then the Hooray Set. Um, so here I have two different colors of cardstock that I've cut down. We are going to be making some custom color graduation cards. Um, as you guys know, if you watch my videos recently, I've started selling my cards in a store. So I wanted to kind of like bulk make a bunch of these. And this is a super easy way to make lots of them. So I have my glimmer machine was heating up. I cut out all of the waiting because I didn't assume you wanted to watch it wait. Um, and then once my plate went on, I set my timer and then I put my foil on. Here I'm showing you because you guys know that I'm a big proponent of being transparent and sharing my mistakes with you so that you don't do them <laughs> as well. So here what I'm doing is I am running this through with the blue foil I typically run mine through a couple of times just because I feel like really good pressure um, helps with um, like having the foil adhere. I would not recommend that with this particular die because the dots at the bottom are so small. Um, it ends up not transferring super well. So don't do that. Run it through once and then bring it back. I also wanted to use the leftover foil because I don't want to waste that beautiful foil. And here you can see, don't do what I do. There's something going on here. It's substantially harder to run this through my machine than it normally is. And I just forced it through. Uh, don't to do that. What was happening is that one of my top plates there was just slightly off center. And so you can see I'm kind of like shaving the plastic off on the side. Um, don't do that. Like if it doesn't feel right, pop it back out and then force it through. Mistake number two that I'm making. Um, see, I'm using Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock because that's what I normally use. And I didn't really get a good transfer from the solid plate. Um, it was kind of um, a little hit or miss. And so I went back and I did it again with um, the Spellbinder specialty paper. Several people has also told me the Hammer Mill 100 pound cardstock works really well for foiling. Um, so this is the Spellbinders one and you can see like I almost got almost a perfect result. The part at the bottom was just missing because it overfoiled on the first card. Um, but yeah, don't don't make those mistakes that I, I have made. Now all of them were fixable. Here I wanted to show you that even with the darker foil, this sanding eraser will remove it. You just have to be patient um, and go over it a couple of times to remove the foil and then the leftover color. But even on white cardstock, I was able to remove it and it worked really well to kind of salvage that card. However, I already knew that I was going to trim these down um, just because when I'm putting down the cardstock on top of the foil, it's super hard to line it up. Um, and that's true for any of them with like the solid hot foil plate. It's hard to see. And so I already knew I had already had it in my mind that I was going to trim them down, which um, ended up working out just fine. Sometimes that just happens with the, the foiling is that it overfoils and then I have the pieces parts that I'm missing at the bottom um, or it's not lined up perfectly straight. That's not something that particularly bothers me um, because I just will trim it off and then use the piece that I have, especially for these silver ones. Here near me, two of the main um, schools colors are green and white and blue and white. And so that's why I chose the ones that I am using here. But you could certainly use whatever colors are, you know, your hometown or your, um, you know, loved ones, college colors or whatever. These are just what worked for me. And then like, especially the silver ones, you could literally turn them into any color combination. So here's all the ones that I've made. Um... I foiled silver on blue and then, um, you know, silver on white, silver on green. I foiled blue on white, uh, white on blue. <laughs> so just trying to come up with as many color combinations as I could. Also not wasting any of my products. And then I'm going to start getting into the die cutting. I cut all of the shadows in white 
and then I cut the big letters, like the actual letters, not the shadow for the letters, out of both blue and green, and then the same for the year, um, because I'm going to be making another type of graduation card uh, with all of my pieces, parts, and I wanted some of them to have the year on it. So here I'm just kind of sorting out what I have and then I will put these in like a little uh, plastic cup that I have on my desk just so I don't lose any of them. But basically just here what I'm doing is I wanted to make sure that all of my little guys made it from where I was die cutting to back to my work desk. So that's the whole point of that. I'm going to start gluing them together um, because like I said, I cut all of the, um, shadows out of white. So really here I'm just, um, sorting out the different, uh, colors to go ahead and glue them down to the shadows. I did not do many as blue that I did as green just because there is, um, not nearly as much, uh, of that particular, school like that's just the school that's closer is blue and white you know what I'm saying like I just feel like those are probably gonna sell better um so putting these all together getting all of this done you guys know that I don't do a lot with die cuts because I don't like the little finicky pieces with these letters being bigger um it wasn't really anything that even I minded doing and it went super quick just to glue them down with my little be creative glue um because it has such a narrow um nozzle worked really well here I am doing my stamping for my solid colored cards, the ones that have the solid background with the foiling on top of them. And I'm just going to stamp a couple of congratulations in blue and in green before I cut them out with the sentiment banner die. Um, yeah, this whole thing, like there were so many, <laughs> this is totally blew my mind. Um, because I have been graduated from high school now for over 20 years. And so I was so shocked to see when like the Facebook notifications started coming up, how many of the people I graduated with had children who were graduating this year. I was like, dude, I have a six month old and these people are having kids that are going to graduate. Like that's totally crazy to me. Like just the way, you know, it goes for different, you know, people and, and different choices that we make. Here I'm going to use that same congratulations, which by the way is from the big buzzwords set, um, to do some white heat embossing on the colored cardstock so I can cut those out for the silverback ones and the white. Um, so yeah, it was just totally wild to me how many people um but like that's what my sister did my sister had her kids so young that like in her 40s her kids were grown and she was able to go do what she wanted to do meanwhile I'll be 40 in two years with a two-year <laughs> with a two-year-old I will be able to do nothing that I want to do except spend wonderful time with my children and my family <laughs> um so it's just, I was really surprised at how many had kids that age. Um, I guess I just didn't realize it until, you know, they were all graduating at the same time. So it just kept popping up in my Facebook feed. Um, speaking of social media, just wanted to um, quickly let you know, um, this is only, this particular portion of it is only for the next like 24-ish hours. I am honored to be teaching in the next um, spring camp, um, spring card class camp for online card classes. And they're very generously allowing me to give away a spot um, to that class. The class does start tomorrow. And so the giveaway will stop at six o'clock a.m. And then I will announce the winner so that you guys aren't missing any days. Back to the card real quick. So here I was running out of colored cardstock and so this is something that you can do also if you don't have a particular color but you're trying to match a high school or college color. Um, use your Distress Inks or your Distress Oxides directly to the pad. For me I only needed the edges and so I just went around the edges. It's totally solid. Um, nobody will ever know that I like custom colored my own cardstock because I don't keep a lot of colored cardstock um, in my stash because I just don't use it that much. As far as lining these up goes, it's easier for me to center the congratulations first and then put my letters on. So I put that down first, popped up on foam, and then I'm going to start with the middle letter in big. 
so that I can get the spacing correct so that everything looks even when my card is finished. So back to this giveaway. So the giveaway is actually over on Instagram. My Instagram username is Kelly Taylor Cards. Um, but you have to be a subscriber here on YouTube because um the reality, like on my channel, the reality of the situation is my biggest following and my most dedicated fans are here. And so I want to share it here because I genuinely want someone who has been following me and who is a, is a fan to win this. Um, not just, you know, somebody who's like, hey, I'm, I'm just in it for the giveaway. I don't even know anything about you. Um, so I would encourage you to head over to Instagram to leave that comment there. Like I said, I will contact uh, the winner um, in almost immediately in the morning to get your information so I can get you signed up for the class so you aren't missing out on anything. Um, and just, you know, a way to show how much I um, really appreciate you guys and hanging in there with me. And um, it's just, you know, you make this journey so much fun for me. And I'm so grateful for you guys and the stories that you share back with me and those relationships that we're able to build. That is the the joy of doing YouTube for me. So yeah, head over to Instagram. I will link it below um, if you're watching on YouTube so that you can enter, but don't forget to become a subscriber here just in case that you're not. Okay, back to the card. So here we're just building one of the green ones, um, doing the same thing, except this one was on the colored card stack. So I just wanted you to be able to see that. This is the second version of the card that I'm going to do, and this is if you don't have a lot of colored card stock, um, or you're maybe looking for something that's a little bit more clean and simple, or you don't have a foil machine, um, which is totally cool. Like, you can still make a beautiful card without that. So here I am using, I chose a very neutral color. I'm using Hickory Smoke and the Distress Oxide. I don't love the way Distress Inks stamp. That's just me personally. So the Oxide stamp beautifully because they have those pigment properties. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp this down. I did stamp it twice, um, the first time because I didn't want it to be, um, like that distress look. I wanted it to be more solid. So I stamped four of these and then I'm going to use the, um, the same congratulations banner. I am going to pop that up on foam and I'm going to put it right over like the bottom third of the word big. So that way you can still read it, but the sentiment makes sense. So it's big congratulations. And then I really like being able to put the year on there. And I played around with a couple of different ways to maybe put the year on there. Um, but ultimately, I liked this one the best and it felt the most balanced design to me. For these ones, again, I'm going to start in the middle. That's how I'm going to get my spacing correct um, to make sure that it doesn't look weird or wonky. So I'm going to put the zero and the two on either side of that eye um, because I know that that is my center point and then that way I can put the other twos, two, two, so many two, two, two twos, two twos. I'm going to put the other twos on the outside of each one of those spaced out um, so that it's a it looks balanced and everything looks straight and proportionate. Um, and then I also did some green and white ones like this as well. So just a couple of ideas to make your own graduation cards and make them a little bit more custom. Here's all of the cards that I made um, for this. And then I shared obviously a couple in the photos as well. But I hope this gave you guys some ideas and some things that you can do. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you head over to participate in the giveaway and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.